Pisces. What's going on, guys? We're going to see who is this person that is so in your energy and what they want with you. Okay, guys? So this is for the upcoming week or whenever you decide to view this video. This is when you're meant to view it. Okay? Let's see. Pisces. Who's coming towards Pisces? Who is this person? Who is this person? That's in Pisces energy. Pisces. Who is this? Who is this person? Hmm. Could be a Scorpio energy. But somebody that's confused. They really don't know how to feel about a certain situation here. Could definitely be a Scorpio, Libra, Cusper. Um, they want to make sure that they're trying, they're doing the right thing or wanting to do the right thing by you. Um, but I don't. I think that they are confused about exactly what that is. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. I think this person is questioning whether or not to commit to you or whether to remain single. Virgo energy there with the Nine of Pentacles. And the Moon. Um, this person is really on the fence. I feel like whoever this is, this person, this is Cancer energy. It's like they want to... They want to do right by you and by themselves, okay? Um, maybe some of you guys have really pushed for commitment with this person. And this person, you know, exhibits some, like, commitment um, issues, phobias. And, but this person feels very strongly for you. They feel very strongly for you. I, I'm, I'm getting that this person is commitment phobe. They are commitment phobe here. Let's see what else we've got. <clears throat> the chariot. Whatever they do, whatever decision they make, they want to make sure that it is the right one. I definitely see them wanting to be with you, wanting to move forward with you. Um, but I, I'm just getting the sense that they don't want to give up their, um, their singlehood here. They're struggling with that. But at the same time, um, you guys make them happy as well. It's like, I don't know if um, this person comes from like this broken home where one parent was, you know, out. They could have had a two parent home, but one person was, one parent was like actually kind of stepping out. Um, so this person is, it seems like they don't have faith in relationships is what it is but they do feel like you guys are you bring them emotional happiness they really do want to do right by you they really do see themselves being um, emotionally fulfilled by you they just don't even know if they can commit is the thing okay nine of swords falling under the nine of pentacles they are stressing about this Gemini energy here this person loves you. I'm just feeling it. This person loves you. I feel like um, they have a they have a strong misconception about um, relationships and marriage that's getting in the way of their happiness with you guys here. Okay. And the five of wands, Leo energy. They're in a battle with themselves. To sort things out. They, they really are. It's really kind of sad. Because I think that um, something in their childhood has them, uh, what is the word, all messed up. Like confused about how relationships really are and, and how they're supposed to go. This is a very fast reading. Um, let me see. <clears throat> what do they really want? Oh, okay. The Hermit. Again, Virgo energy. They want to come back. They want to do what's right. 
They want to figure this shit out. What do they really want with Pisces? What does this person really want with Pisces? What does this person really want with Pisces? Six of Swords. They want to work things out. They want to talk things out. They want to figure out, you know, what's, what's truly going to make them happy. Um, what What is the right thing to do by you? What do they really want with Pisces? This person, you know, they're having a hard time. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus energy here. This person's struggling because I definitely get that um, they care very deeply for you. They feel like you guys are the one if there is a such thing. I think they struggle with the with um, settling down, this person. But they are really trying to figure this shit out. Let me put a card in front of the hermit over here and see what they're looking for what are they looking for what is this person looking for ten of swords you know I think that like I said before this person may have come from a home where there was cheating involved and um, just one person stepping out on the other or even they have a history of people doing this to them and they're really scared to settle down because they're really afraid of what the other person is going to do. It's not necessarily that they are wanting to just be with different people. It's like doing something to somebody before they have a chance to do it to you. And I think that's what they have been doing um, thus far. Again, Gemini energy here with the Ten of Swords. We have Aquarius here as well. But um, this person really is thinking about... Um, you know whether or not you guys will betray them um, or the fact that they have betrayed you before or the history of betrayal in their family they are too concerned with the you know what might happen in the situ in this situation I feel that um, They, there's something about you guys that they feel um, they're projecting. I feel like this person's projecting. Either they feel like you have done something to betray them, you've done something to them, or they're thinking about what they've done to you or what they've seen done in relationships um, before. And they're like projecting that onto you. And so it's kind of keeping them from... Uh, committing and just being afraid they're afraid of commitment they're afraid of being hurt they're afraid of what might happen to them they really want to talk things out with you work things out with you but they're coming in very very slowly as the knight of pentacles okay guys so that is what i have for you and i'll be speaking with you guys soon bye